Hi friends! Welcome to today's hand sewing tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do an overlock blank stitch in a round shape from beginning to end. We are going to do the V shape variation today. We'll be doing double thread to create overlock blanket stitch. To do this, we are going to join the end of the thread so that they are about the same length. I'm using a ball pin to hold the two fabrics in place. We are going to start from the top and going in clockwise direction. We want to insert the first needle just on the fabric at the back and then exit upwards right above the edge of the top fabric. So let me show you. Insert the first needle now just on the back fabric. Exiting upwards right above the edge of the top fabric. Pull and leave some threads for finishing later on. Leave these beginning threads on the left hand side so it doesn't get tangled while we are sewing. Next, insert the needle through both fabrics and exit diagonally up. Now grab one of the threads and loop this around the needle. Pull and you have completed the first stitch. Keep going by inserting the needle again through both fabrics and exit diagonally up. Grab one of the threads and loop this around the needle. Pull and that's two stitches done. Let's keep going until the end of the round. Overlock stitch is very helpful in preventing fabrics from fraying in the future. This tutorial will also help you with my free crochet cap pattern which can be found here. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Please give me a like and share the video with your friends and family. Thank you friends! Now we are nearing the end, I want to show you another two tips that can help with your needle placement. The first is using a pen to mark the remaining gaps evenly. I've marked three dots, but as you can see, my fabric absorbed the ink rather quickly. So when this happens, you can also use the second tips, which is using ball pins to mark the spots instead. Now let's finish the remaining stitches. Once we are back at the beginning, insert the needle on that same bottom and top stitch that we did in the beginning. So, inserting the needle on the first bottom stitch, exiting upwards to the top, loop one of the threads as per usual, pull, Grab 
Grab both the beginning and end threads together and tie two knots. Insert the needle under and exit at the back. Cut. To hide the beginning threads, repeat the same. Insert the needle under and exit it at the back. Thread the last two yarn and pull the needle. Use the back of your needle if needed to tidy up the stitches. That's it. Take care my loves. Until next time.